Okay, so we're going to take a look at the inside. Let me just get rid of this so that doesn't hang along. Again, it's not been detailed, it's not been cleaned, but this all looks really good. You don't have all the signs of uh, boot scuffs wearing away at the paint. There's a little blistering right into there, but nothing, nothing terrible, nothing too concerning. The underside of the door looks really good. This is where you'll typically see rust and corrosion, and that looks perfect. There's no signs of rust there at all. Uh, definitely, definitely a non-smoking vehicle. You can always tell that. It has all the rubber mats as well, so the carpets will be in perfect condition under there. And let's show you the kilometers. That's the best part, is they drove less than 10,000 kilometers per year. There we go, 69,590 kilometers. Let's make sure that's not a trip meter or something silly like that. Yep, there you go. And everything looks really good. All the paint is really good on the buttons and stuff. Sometimes you see all the buttons get, like the paint is rubbed off. Um, sorry for the sun. Hopefully you can see that okay. Yeah, all that looks really good. We've got this great cargo space here where the tray will drop down so you got lots of cargo room. You have an auxiliary port here as well. Another power supply. And uh, just lots of storage space and really super clean. Just uh, let me pause this, we'll go to the back. There we go, so let's look at the back. As I said, they were older, like probably in their mid 70s. Uh, I don't know, based on that, I don't think anyone's ever used the back seat for very, very little. There doesn't look to be any sign of any scuff or anything from any boots. Maybe a little bit of something here. Really minimal use. Carpets are all in perfect condition because of the rubber mats. So that all looks really, really good. And then we'll do one is all the regular mats that come with it, the cargo tray. They even had the cargo liner as well. So that's just a little trunk liner. That's all really good condition. This is the stuff. We can polish paint, we can vacuum interiors and so on. But once the plastic is all scuffed up and marked up, there's nothing anybody can do about that. And this is really good condition. It's not all beaten up. If it was like, you know, the stroller was slammed in there or dogs were, you know, clawing at it, you would see scuffs and scratches all over the place. And again, there's another spot where rust normally happens when the tailgate will sit in moisture and that looks really good. Perfect, um, awesome, awesome vehicle and hopefully you get a chance to take advantage of it. Okay, thanks, we'll talk to you soon.